Hi guys, welcome back to New Dram Drinker, another week and another review. And this one's a first for us, isn't it? I'll let first her tell you why, because she's excited about I've it. I've never so. won anything in my life, and I won an Instagram competition with a whole bottle of Mutmira. Yeah, because I'll be our members group, we're all kind of posting and like with these competitions and you god knows how many we ever get enrolled into but we never, never win, win anything yeah we never win but we uh we won one no, well, i won, won, one. won one nick won one um so it's uh, a first this is a Instagram good video yeah. win for yeah. us as and a, the fact that it's a mirror makes you kind of go oh yes i'm so yeah, happy to review this Mamira, but luckily enough we haven't got this one yes. which is always it's a, a new bonus, one isn't it? it so it's uh it, we thought, why yeah. not do a video review of it? Because yeah. it's their latest release as well. And we like to kind of do reviews that are current. Mm -hmm. And you may want to get a bot yourself. So mm -hmm. should we crack on? Yeah, looking forward to it. Let's crack on. So as you saw, this is the Björk Sav. <laughs> In our brummy accent. <laughs> Which is always fun. Bjork, wasn't she like a 80s singer or something? I think, yeah, you need like a swan right yeah. around your neck when you review yeah. it. <laughs> Bjork, Sav, and I apologise for everybody out there from Sweden that I have just like yeah. mangled that. means birch sap. Do you say sap or slap then? Sap. Oh, that's all right then. I'm safe. Um, birch sap. So it says on the back of the box, it's a Swedish single malt whiskey inspired by the long awaited return of spring. Okay. Oh, hopefully, we're going into summer now. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, in, by including casks that were seasoned with Swedish birch sap wine, we've created a floral whiskey with a fresh spiciness and sweet notes of vanilla fudge. Nice. Mm. I do love the green. I must yeah. admit, of the it box. Kind of makes it's really springy. Yeah, it's it? a lovely, yeah. vibrant green, isn't yeah. it? It's just a so, nice uh, box. It's a simple box. Yeah. yeah the, the standard. Yeah. McMira. But they all box, are very similar but different colours. I like yeah. the uniformity of it. Oh, so like yeah, it's well. all got the different colour. I mean, I'm yes. looking behind camera because we've got a few on the shelf behind yes. us. And they've all got it just they just sit nicely on a shelf. They do. It's typical McMira, isn't it? I mean it's uh I mean for those of you who don't know a McMira bowl, this is exactly what they look like. <laughs> It's uh, it's got dimples all the way around the bottom, colour to match the box. We couldn't find any information anywhere that said whether this was natural colour, whether it was coloured. Mm. It was a tricky one. the nose and said it was fresh white fruits like apples hard-boiled sweets like pear drops a slight woody note and artificial saccharin I said it was fresh light fruity like citrus fresh flowers floral notes and apple and grapes like white wine with a slight woody note we also agreed fruity didn't yeah, we? Definitely, yeah definitely I think it's citrus I liked the, you said apples and gra like the white fruits. The white I got fruits, apple and definitely. grapes. And I actually wrote in my notes in the week, white wine with a question mark. Yeah. And that's what it is. It's that, that wine note. And you, that confirmed it when you read the box. Yeah, 100%. Because we genuinely hadn't looked at the, we kind of received it as our award, mm. didn't we? We opened it, put it onto the shelf mm. and we never looked at it again. We just no. thought, okay, we'll come back to that when we do yeah. a video or something. And we didn't really go into it no. too much, did we? So no. it was we were very fresh to it, yeah. to be honest. So we've agreed and I think on lots. Fresh is a very good it word is, for yeah. this risk. So we've agreed on lots so far. You said there was a sugary saccharine. I, note, I still I get that. Get. Yeah, I get yeah. A, was a very fake. I felt the fresh sugary citrus. note on yeah. the nose. It's not a negative. I mean, no. yeah, the, it, it's just a. It's more of a. My, this is going to turn into a long video if I keep on going off on tangents. But my friend, when he has his coffees at work, he has the um, fake sugar. What's it called? Mm. The um, uh, candorel. Candorel. It's very much that note rather than a sugar 
that, that mm. we use, like a yeah. sugar cube or something. It's that it's that really powdery kind of yeah. dusting. Saccharine. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's I don't get that so much. Yeah. But we also both said there was a slight woody note, like that's really there. Yeah, isn't definitely, it? definitely. Yeah. Which comes through more on the palette, which I think we should get to now because this one changes up quite a lot on the palette compared to the nose. On the palette, Ant said it was spicy like pepper, wood, rich, thin mouth feel and less summery than on the palette. I said there was a wood note, spices like ginger, vanilla buttery note like shortbread, cold mouth feel, fresh fruits like peach. This one blew us both out the water, didn't it? It mm. was literally like, if I'd have done this as a blind tasting, if you'd have given me this to nose and then given me this to drink, I would have said you'd given me two you'd different whiskies. Yeah, when you weren't looking. Hundred percent, because both of us agreed. It's not very often we agree. In Twenty-six life, years of general, marriage. Just, it's yeah. not very often we agree. <laughs> um, we both agreed this tastes nothing like it noses. No, it's like a completely like different it. whisker, yeah. which is really interesting. Love that. It's. Um... It's so fresh on the nose yeah. that I don't really understand how it does it yeah. in that it all doesn't follow of the through. notes and flavours that are in the palate yeah. aren't there. Yeah. Or even in real, any kind of, they don't even... Translate. Like, yeah, they don't even kind of, it's not even hiding it. It doesn't even yeah. feel like it's hiding it. It's just like two different whiskies yes. completely. Yeah, yeah. There's it, not even any kind of yeah. correlation between no. the nose and the palate. No. I don't know yeah. what's going on. The I'm freshness confused. on the nose is replaced by deep, heavy, like there's a wood note. It's that, um, like, it's just heftier. The spices yeah. are there on the palate. Yeah. Um, I did get fruits, whereas on the nose, it was like the wine, like white grapes, apples. I got a tiny little, there was like a peachy note for me, mm. but the spices and the wood, and I also got like, um, so spices to me were ginger, mm. and then I had like this buttery, vanilla -y little note, which made me think of a biscuit. Yeah. So I'm yeah. not saying it was ginger biscuits, but it was like shortbread and ginger. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not as, it goes from a nice spring day on the nose. Mm. Like I said, sitting out in the garden, birds singing, you know, smell of grass, barbecues. It's just You're a lovely day. painting a lovely picture. But then when you drink it, it almost switches. To the, to the evening. To the, yeah, exactly. To the evening when the barbecue's on. Mm -hmm. and, or the fire. Okay, it's not smoky or anything like that, but you've got like the, the wood yeah. and it's like the, the spices. It's a warm and the whiskey. And the warmth yeah. and you're all hooded around the fire. With your warming your hands on it and you're cooking it like is. marshmallows and biscuits. and It's compl it's the same day, yes. just at very different yes, times. 100%. And it's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. On the palate, it is not fresh it and light. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. It's brilliant. It's full, full, yeah. full of flavour. Yeah. And like I said, you said before about whiskies that take them on a journey. Yes. Okay, this might not be a massive journey because it's in one day. <laughs> so you're going from like mid afternoon to late evening. But it's just a brilliant how it can do that, isn't mm. it? It's it, like... made, it made me think as well. Like we've had quite a few McMira, and I always think my mirror have a singular note that mm. goes all the way through their whiskies. Yeah. I can't quite tell you what it is, but there is a familiar flavour. I'm not convinced this has got it. I'm mm. I'm not convinced this has got the same notes going through. And I am influenced by the fact that there are distilleries in the middle of the forest, mm. and I would love to go and see it. But this is this feels heftier. Yeah. And it's not. I think the nose a negative makes at all. you think that it's going to be a McMira. I think the, I think it through. smells like a McMira, yeah. but I'm not saying it tastes like. But one. I think there's definitely that's probably the best way to explain it. There's definitely something else going on it here. It switches on the mm. palate quite significantly, mm. um, which is hard to justify in yeah. a way as to, because you might love the nose, but not like the palate. You might hate the nose, but love the palate yes. because they're so different. So it's really hard. It's going to be a hard one to kind of give our award to because... It's almost two different whiskies mm. in one glass. Literally, it? like I yeah. said, when we were tasting this in the week, I said to Ant, 
Like, have you given me the same whiskey? I was yeah. just like, there was a little bit of me that was just like, this doesn't even taste yeah. like the same whiskey. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think yeah. we should. But very interesting. And we love that kind of whiskey that you can sit and talk about and say, yeah. oh, this has excited me. And I didn't think whiskeys could do this. Because yeah. I was a little yeah. bit ahead of you, wasn't I, with my yeah. notes? And I was telling Nick my notes so she can write them down. And uh, I, I had the switch in the, from the nose to the palate mm. before Nick did, mm. and I was looking forward to seeing what she yeah. got. And she was exactly the same. Yeah. She was like, "You know 100%. what? You're spot on. That is a completely different yeah. animal from the uh, mm. from the nose." This is one of those whiskies. You know, before I drank whiskey, in my head, whiskey all tasted the same. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Um, so we should get on to the finish. finish and said it was long spicy and peppery i said it was long warm and spicy so the finish for me as i said in the notes it's so long isn't it it goes on and on okay it's predominantly spices there's a bit of a fruit on the back end of that but it's mainly the spices oh but it goes on and on and on i've still got it now um, and it makes your mouth water, doesn't yeah, it? It's warming. It's, it's a warming really spot. pleasant finish. The finish is lovely. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's just. I've lost what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I'm going, going to, say. to say. This is a whiskey where I do a lot of hand movements, <laughs> but it's like this is the nose, this is the palate, this is the finish going off into the distance. It's. So long. And I'm just gonna uh, carry and on because so my lovely. mind's still blank. It is, but yeah. it's like it's just it, it it is like a oh you call them journey whiskies, don't you? Where mm. you there's a, there's something else. It's not like you know we've had whiskies before, and I'm not saying it's a negative, but you've had whiskies and you go oh the palate's lovely, and then it's ended. But like, yeah. that's it, gone, petered out, nothing. This is I've still got it now, mm. and it's not just the warming. Sometimes I have uh, whiskies where the finish, the flavour's not there, but the warmth. Mm. Warmthness. 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 The warmth Warming. in my mouth. Warmingness. No. no. <laughs> the warmth in my mouth. I don't know. <laughs> it's like is there, you know, the spicy tingle. It's not like that. This the flavour is still in my yeah. mouth. The yeah. flavour is still there. It's yeah. like that beautiful, rich, spicy note. There's a slight little wood, mm. but it is so long. Yeah. One thing I would say, I'm just looking at the back of the bottle, you would think it was higher than the 46.1%. Yes. yes. On the palate. Nose, nowhere I'd, near. No. You would be, I yeah. could, I think yeah. you, I could fool you into thinking that was a 40% yes. nose. Yes. As soon as you drink it, you think it's getting mm, up it's into go up the there. 50s yeah. because it's just mm. got, and that makes it sound like it's all spirity, but it's not. Not at it's, all. It's the flavours, and I think it's yeah. the spice in yeah. there that's so strong yeah. that elevates the ABV yeah. of it a little bit but it's, but it's gorgeous. full of flavor it's not like a spicy tingle and there's nothing else there is no spirit note you know i'm quite good at saying oh there's a spirit mm. note there's no spirit note either of us have not said that have we mm. and but on the finish i absolutely think you could be fooled into thinking this was a cast strength or something yeah, yeah. definitely it's, it's still going now but not the burn there's no I, usually i get this hot spot by my ear yeah mm. no it's just really lovely really awesome. really lovely finish so we need to move on to the award Um, I'll let Nick tell you what it's going to be. When you do this, I always think it's because you've forgotten, haven't you? No, I can't I remember what it's called. I remember it. No, I don't remember <laughs> it. I haven't done it blank this time. Go on. I can only do it once a video. I've already done it, so I can't go blank on the show. <laughs> go on, Nick. So this is a whiskey of two halves because we both agreed the nose is one um, element, yeah. one list of flavours and thoughts and feelings. The palate is something completely different. I'll tell you what, this would be good for a blind tasting. Oh my god, because, you would never. Yeah, if you like were to nose them to start with, I guarantee you, you wouldn't yeah. be expecting this. Whatever you thought at the beginning would not be yeah, where you ended it. Would it. Completely. If you, get, you. if you if you're a fan of doing blind challenges for other people, throw this in there honestly yeah. because it will completely like yeah. flummox them. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely. And I stand to, by to what do. I say. I think it noses like a McMira. But it doesn't taste like one. Mm. It's so exciting. It's yeah. like a, I love mm. it. Yeah, awesome. we. I thoroughly, 
the really this has been exciting so i suppose the question is we won this yes would you buy it yes I suppose that's the that's the, the proofs yes. in the pudding of that mm. question, isn't it? Would mm. you when that this bottle is empty, yes. would you buy another bottle? Yes. I yes. think I would. I picked this over green tea and I liked the green Grunty. tea one. Grunty, yeah. <laughs> I uh I did I did, I like this. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. It's interesting and you know, I think sometimes as well when you're trying to cultivate your bar and you know, we talked a lot about independent bottlers and things like that. Th these aren't indies, but they're interesting, mm. and I think you need the that lovely balance of the traditional, the standard, the ones you know you're going to love that everybody knows, and then you need a few left of field. I like that. It's it's yeah, what makes I whiskey so interesting. One of the things you can say about Mamira is they're not scared to no, experiment. Not they at will. All. Uh, uh, it's it must be very hard to experiment like they do and expect to hit a yes. home run every time because I don't think it's possible to yeah. be honest. I'm sure we've all had a McMurray that we haven't liked. Yes. And that's not a negative because some people would have enjoyed that one. Maybe then when you're doing whiskeys, yeah, when you're doing so many different them. expressions, you're bound to hit a home run every now and then and you're bound to just yeah. miss the ball every now and then. But I also think as well, and I've learnt this, you know. I've learnt this, as in, don't give up. It's almost like there are, there's a expression, an expression or an age statement that you might like. You know, there's a couple of um, brands that I've had whiskies of and I don't like them, but you keep going and then you find one that you do like mm. because their breadth is so huge. Yep. There's there's going to be something out there for everybody, yep. isn't there? And the one yeah. thing you can't say about Mamura is that they don't put themselves out there. They're all over social media. Yes. They're doing tastings. Yes. They're doing yeah. and the pubs, the yes. other life to pubs and yeah. things like that. Yeah. So and they're not, not pigeonholing the themselves. Brand. They are experimenting. They've got themes and ideas, yeah. and you know yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah. You can't um, you can't take it away from no, for trying. Not at all. So uh, yeah. yeah, this was a good one though. We like this it was one. interesting. It was fun. Yeah, we we like a whiskey that's got a little bit of something mm. different. Yeah. Um, one, because it makes easy videos, and two, it's nice to drink. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. We appreciate your time again. We hope you've had a great week, and we hope you have a great week next week, and we will see you next Saturday. I'm starting it. <laughs> what are you going to do? Read the bottle. I know, but I can't talk about the bottle. It's like I get confused. <laughs>